last time that you received a notification on your smart device? Did you think, useful, but how does this device know to send me this information? Puzzling, isn't it? I would say that the question that we should ask is, how can that same process used to make the smart device smart make the way I work and interpret life in my extension service role just as smart or efficient? We're at this virtual extension annual conference, and I would suspect that there are enough of you watching that a portion of you who received that notification turned off all notifications on principle alone. For others, their reaction is sweet. Anything that can predict and notify them of unexpected circumstances is a huge bonus. Yet others are creeped out and begin to wonder, what else do people know about me? We are at a transformative moment in time. We're in an era where technology and computing can provide us data instantaneously, which places all of us with an extension service appointment in a unique position whereby we can use those data to promote social and educational equity, maintain precious natural resources, and support economically viable businesses. You can do that. We can do that by creating, integrating, and understanding data available to us. So how can we make sense of the data that we have? And what about the data that we don't even know that we have? One way is to use the benefits of machine learning. Now, there's a quote that highlights science and engineering, but the concept expands to all of our fields. It states, there is no doubt that big data are now rapidly expanding in all science and engineering domains. While the potential of the massive data is undoubtedly significant, fully making sense of them requires new ways of thinking and novel learning techniques to address various challenges. So if machine learning can help us understand massive data, what is it? Let's start with the basic concept of machine learning. Machine learning is the science of programming computers so that they're able to act without being programmed for every single task. Through machine learning, a computer brings together hundreds of thousands, if not millions of relevant data. So whenever you get a notification on your, on your smart device that your expected time of arrival for an appointment will be in 28 minutes, machine learning has likely cross-referenced multiple routes with day, time, location, and even historical traffic. How crazy is that? And you thought your smart device was just sitting there the entire time? It's been working. So now, where can you apply machine learning to make sense of data? In my case, I'm the livestock and rangeland field faculty in Malheur County. Think the entire landmass of the state of Hawaii, nearly 6.4 million acres. 72% of the area is public lands with sagebrush rangelands. They expand as far as the eye can see. On a large part of these lands, proper grazing can promote functionally healthy landscapes that support wildlife, proper watershed function, healthy plants for pollinators, opportunities for recreation and hunting, and profitable rangeland-based businesses. Public and private land managers want to hone in the art and science of grazing. So I'm working with cow-calf producers to get a sense of animal movement on the rugged southeastern Oregon landscapes. In particular, I place GPS collars on cows to determine their movement across the sagebrush landscape. As the cows walk around, the GPS device communicates with satellites to record information. Now, data collected include index points, date, latitude, longitude, altitude, all the way to the number of satellites used to fix the signals. Every spreadsheet with data consists of 18 columns, and after combining collar data, I can get 6.5 million data points. How do you make sense of all those data? When was the last time you stared at an Excel screen, making every attempt to freeze columns and rows so that you can try to make even the smallest sense of what the numbers mean? How did you feel? Did you ever think there has to be another way? What if you were able to be more productive and more efficient after you dealt with Excel. How? In my case, I connected with a geoscientist and mathematical modeler to take those six and a half million data points and analyze them in 10 minutes. Using machine learning, we created an app 
where we were able to eliminate staring at an Excel sp spreadsheet and from now on get data cleaned, processed, and visualized with the internet in 10 minutes. Our Animal Tracker app, a package published in the Comprehensive R Archive Network, allows researchers and select cow-calf producers to visualize and summarize data almost instantaneously. Using Animal Tracker, we're able to see where cows travel, including where they get through the fence. In one instance, a cow-calf producer found where one cow crossed a rock wall to return to the ranch. Another producer, on his own, identified specific cows that like to climb high on the mountains. The scientific term for those animals are climbers. Machine learning takes into consideration factors that we know as content experts. In short, it's the process by which bad data can be taken out so we can see clean data with certain level of confidence. Each point, once visualized, provides more information that allows producers to, to make better management decisions. It's all using machine learning. However, let's get back to you. What data are critical for you to know? What would be beneficial for you to have accessible to, to make you more productive in your line of work? Is there a place where machine learning, even in the most basic forms, will prevent you from staring at that computer all day long? I bet there is. So I encourage you to be more strategic and consider where machine learning can help you address challenges in your field of expertise.